April 16, 1917, Emil was still sick. But the general needed every soldier who could stand to launch his big offensive. Once again, it was to be the battle that would bring an end to the war. I really, truly am hating the way that this game leaves you on massive cliffhangers. As you can hear, I'm about to blub because I don't know what's happened to Carl and Marie and Victor and Walt. But we fight on. If I'm right, which I probably am not, this is probably the offensive called the Hundred Days War. I didn't quite catch the date there, but certainly we're heading towards the end of the war. And as you can see, the losses were so huge by this point and morale was so low. Harrowing. How these men continue to fight at the end of it all. to find the strength to keep going in the last moments. I mean, look at this. How vivid the blood is right now. Bodies just everywhere. Ah, oh, so I'm wrong. It isn't the... It isn't the um, Hundred Days War. But this is coming up to it. Stalemate soon set in and 200,000 men lost their lives in a matter of days. Mutinies broke out in a number of allied units. The failure of the offensive became a symbol of the violence of trench warfare. Right, I thought Emil had a little glitch there, but he seems to have sorted himself out now that we've read about it. So let's go on. I'm not entirely sure what our goal is in this section. Jeez. You can understand why mutinies would break out, wouldn't you? Maybe you'll be all right if we leave you behind. I don't know if I'm gonna get this in time. Let's go. Jeez, look at the dead. Surrounded by the dead. Of course, Musebi was punished. Soldiers were jailed for it and tried. The way Ubisoft Montpellier have used the colour, the use of colour in this game. Just the different palettes for the different battles. It's not easy making a war game look good. As the chaps at Activision, Treyarch and Infinity Ward. Come on, the last offensive. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're losing everyone, we're losing everyone here. Come on, come on, come on, push. This is becoming, oh my god. All the bodies. and the munitions. Well, this is tricky. Jeez, look how close I am. Right, there we go. Back in more trenches. Can we save this guy? Let's pull him out, pull him out. Oh my 
god, we're gonna have to use our own fallen comrades as shields. Just reminds me of 300. The pile of Spartans at the end of that. Of course, obviously on a far greater scale than 300 Spartans. Oh, jeez. I need to be so careful in this bit. Little signet ring there. Oh. Pull back. Pull back. He's gonna get hit, isn't he? Okay, okay. Oh, back off! I do like that with all the history notes and the facts that have come up, they have matched up exactly with what's going on in the level. So there, earlier you saw about reading about mutinies. And here the level is showing exactly why mutinies happened. When you're using the bodies of your fallen comrades to shelter you from gunfire and the endless barrage. And you're tired and cold and hungry and scared and wounded. Why would you fight on? Come on. Jeez. But it doesn't help that all the shells are coming in as well. Careful. Ooh. Oh god, oh god, oh god. See that all the bombs are coming down as well. Oh god. I think I've screwed up. No, I might be alright. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, for God's sake. Barrage is just endless. I'm dead horses now. Right, I need to pay attention to what my teammates are doing because they seem to know where the bombs are. Look at that. I'm absolutely speechless at how this looks. Grueling but beautiful. Keep up, keep up, keep up. Come on. And again, the use of lighting here. One thing I realised actually is the UBR engine was used for um, Children of Light. Okay, I think if I stop... There we go. I think there was a th thing there as well. Oh dear. I wonder if I can make sneak it to the end. <laughs> Game breaking, I think, yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, maybe not. That's it, guy. Come on. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> the blow was fatal. The Nivelle Offensive was a bloodbath, a butchery. Soon, mutiny spread throughout the French infantry divisions, and the offensive was abandoned. Emile 
was jailed with the other rebels, waiting to be court-martialed. The dogs of war, man's best and most loyal friend, shared the same day to day as the soldiers. Whether carrying messages, saving the wounded, or sweeping for mines, they never failed to fulfill their duty. What? Maybe we can see a happy ending in this somewhere. And as for Emil, at least he's alive. Sure, he may be court-martialed, but at least he's alive. Let's see if we can save Carl and Marie and Victor now. Come on. We can do this, we can do this. Right. On the ball. Only one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Carl. Sorry, I'm not talking much in this. I'm desperately trying to save Carl because if we don't, I'm going to cry bitter tears. I'm concentrating so hard right now. So very hard. Come on, I've only missed one cue. He's got to survive. Medkit. Medkit. Where's the medkit? Where's the medkit? Where is the goddamn medkit? Come on. Oh, for God's sake. This ain't helping. Where is the goddamn medkit? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. You are all not helping. Why is this, is this like the biggest goddamn hospital in the world? Come on, where is the med kit? Downstairs. No. No. Well, I can still manage to find time to get the bedpan, but where's the med kit? There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Um, which way back? It was to the right. Come on, come on. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm not giving up on you yet. Shoot! Come on, I can do this. We can do this, we can do this. Come on, come on, come on. Tiens bon, tiens bon. 
Allez, Carl. Carl, viens bon. Allez, Carl. Come on, come on. Ça va aller. Oh, non. I'm screwing up, I'm screwing up, I'm screwing up. Allez, fais toi fais toi Come on, come on. Carl, viens bon. There we go, there we go. There we go. Did we do it? One look from the sun was enough for Carl to forget three years of war and exile. After weeks without news of Emile, Marie finally received a letter from her father. Amy Chaillon. At least we're all alive. Hello. No. Oh no. I think Emile's going to be executed. We've come so far. I'm sorry, I don't think I can speak very much during this bit. What an absolutely heartbreaking game. Dearest Marie, as the war ends for me, I have no regrets. I've seen too much horror. I hope fate has been more merciful to you. Our time on Earth is brief, and mine has been filled with so much joy that I can only be thankful for how much I've been blessed. Most especially for the wonder you brought into my life. This letter is my last. I've been found guilty by a military court for the death of an officer. It was not my intention to kill him. War makes men mad. And though I failed, Carl, I know my sacrifice has not been in vain. I fought for my country and my liberty. My honor is assured. Since it is the will of God to separate us on earth, I hope we'll meet again in heaven. Keep me in your prayers. Your loving Papa. Always. Even though their bodies have long since returned to dust, their sacrifice still lives on. We must strive to cherish their memory and never forget. have it. Valiant Hearts, The Great War. Well, we all knew it was going to make us cry. I just couldn't figure out how. 
so beautiful words there from Emil at the end. And I think words that we can take away with us. If I've timed this right, then this final episode is out on the centenary of World War I, the Great War. If I've timed this right, then today is uh, July 28th. And like I said, when I first started this, I um, I didn't know too much about World War One apart from what I was taught distantly when I was at school. And certainly I think this has been a fantastic game in educating me as to what happened. And it has encouraged me to read up more. What I appreciate is that it represented as many nations as it could and it represented as many troops from different parts of the world like Canada and Morocco and India. I think at the end there, Emil really did sum everything up. I think the art style was gorgeous and it influenced you in subtle ways that you didn't expect. Valiant Hearts The Great War is out now on PC, Xbox and PlayStation and um, well... <laughs> As you can hear, I'm absolutely in ruins at the moment. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. We all knew it was going to be a sad one. I just wasn't sure how it was going to end. I certainly am glad that at least Carl found happiness with Marie and Victor. Thank you very much for joining me. And please take a moment today to remember the men, women and animals who have given their lives in World War One, in World War Two, in the current wars, so that we may experience freedom. And let us hope that one day, you know, it's a naive hope, but let us hope that one day just war just ends and all this madness and death just ends. Hungry for more, the war was not yet over. appetite was infinite. And thank you to Ubisoft Montpellier for this absolutely beautiful creation. I think it served very well as a commemoration of the Great War. Thanks very much for joining me guys. I'll see you all next time.